plea from parents to the State Department of Education. They want their children back in the classroom, and state officials agree with them. But more schools are going in the opposite direction. WBZ's Christina Hager shows us why. Birds were heard chirping as classes got underway at Natick High, fully remote. Monday night, parents got a letter from the superintendent saying she's pulling back on the hybrid plan for two weeks because people already exposed to the virus attended and or hosted parties with numerous students over the past two weekends despite orders from the Board of Health to quarantine. People were immediately going out and texting each other and figuring it all out. Keeping students home has parents across the state frustrated. It is heartbreaking to watch your child struggle and have no idea how to help them. At a meeting held by the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, also known as DESE, parents begged to get their kids back in public schools. The schools are abandoning our children. Commissioner Jeffrey Riley says DESE has done everything possible to push for in-school learning. And again today. Most of our schools should be back in person to the greatest extent possible. But it's not happening. Hopkinton High suddenly went remote for the next two days after a student tested positive. While at Lincoln Sudbury High, students finally returned from a delay in in-person learning due to a large party. Now, Riley says the state's mobile testing unit can pull right up to schools and help with decisions on whether to close them. And we're going to go in and, and do some uh, assessment of that uh, to see if it ha there has been spread in the school or not. Another hot button issue, MCAS, came up at the Department of Education meeting. Riley saying the state plans to go ahead with MCAS testing this spring. Of course, no one knows what schools will look like by then. In Natick, Christina Hager, WBC News. Christina, thank you.